All right, guys, when you think of comfort food, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Is it like your favorite soup, stew, something cheesy, meatloaf? When I think of comfort food, I definitely, one of the things that I automatically comes to mind is meatloaf. And in today's video, I am bringing to you my favorite meatloaf recipe. It is amazing, full of flavor, not dry, and the epitome of comfort food. So let's just head on into the kitchen and get going on this. It's dinner time. To get started, we are going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And then we are going to put in a bowl, large bowl, one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground pork. You can use all ground beef if you would like. Then you're going to dice up one bell pepper, one onion, and four cloves of garlic. And you just want to dice it in a nice, even, small dice. And you just want to mince up those four cloves of garlic. And into a preheated skillet on the stove, you're going to add a little bit of olive oil and add your peppers and your onions. Reserve the garlic until the onions and the peppers have cooked. You're just looking to get these to nice, get nice and soft. And then once they are soft, add your garlic and let that go for about 30 seconds. And then remove from heat. And then add that to your large bowl with your two pounds of meat in it. And then to that, we are gonna add two eggs. And we are going to add a quarter cup of chili sauce, half or one cup of Italian breadcrumbs, half a cup of half and half, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and two teaspoons of parsley. and two teaspoons of salt and pepper. Give that a big stir. I'm using a metal stew to kind of break up the meat a little bit and get that started to stir. And then I'm gonna use my hands and get this all mixed in and everything well blended together. That's what it should look like when it's done. And then into a nine by five loaf pan. I'm going to use a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and then I'm just going to put my meatloaf into the pan and press it down. Make sure everything is nice and firm. And then into our preheated oven, it is gonna go for about 40 minutes. While you're waiting, you're going to make the sauce, which is one cup of barbecue sauce, any barbecue sauce will work, and about two tablespoons of chili sauce. And you're just gonna mix that up real good and set it aside. And at about 40 minutes, our meatloaf is just about done, so it's time to actually put some of the sauce on the top. And then we're just going to let that finish off in the oven for the last 10-15 minutes. And you just want to make sure you get this on there nice and even. You don't really have to worry about the sides yet, because you're going to do that after the meatloaf is out of the pan. And you just want to get that all nice and covered. And then after 15 minutes in the oven, flip that out of the pan. I'm using a metal spatula just to get it off of the insert. And then I'm just gonna come back through and use the remaining um, sauce and paste, use a pastry brush and cover the rest of the meatloaf on the sides. And then I'm garnishing it with just a little bit of fresh parsley 
and look at that guys this is something that is getting ready to be devoured it smells so good So normally this is the part of the video where I would be taste testing my food and showing you and telling you how delicious it is. But unfortunately I forgot to shoot that part and as you can see, this is all that's left. Not much. So having said all that, I can tell you this recipe is a winner because my family devoured it in literally 20 minutes. It is that good. You're definitely gonna wanna get, the flavors are phenomenal. That chili sauce just takes everything up just a little notch and adds a little hint of flavor that just wasn't there. If you didn't put it in there, it's really that good. I just give it a try. This one is gonna become one of your favorite new comfort foods. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. That would be amazing. I have more great content where this came from. And as always, I hope you all have a fabulous week, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.